Marcus, was that about right? Nil nil. Uh, I think so. Um, you know, it's a tough game. Both teams were fully committed. Um, both teams are based on hard work. Um, they match each other. I think the pitch um, didn't help in terms of the, the kind of football that was played on the pitch. But um, I think it was a fair result uh, on a tough pitch with two tough teams that were hard to beat today. There was one point there where it looked like Lee Brown was very close to getting the, the only goal. Um, Rovers, if anything, had the better chances, I would say. Yeah, probably. Um, I wouldn't say there were clear-cut chances. There, there might have been um, you know, breaking the back line and having to make, to make the right decision, which, like you said, Lee, Lee, Lee done and had a shot on target. Um, everyone's saying, could he have squared it? But, you know, you're under pressure. He's a full-back. Um, so... There was minimal in terms of chances, the one-on-one -on -one with, with goalies, it was, or, or, or half chances really, or, or what could have been. The, the game was very much a middle third game, I, I'd say. There isn't much between the teams at the, towards the top of this league, is there? No, there isn't. And you know, we're, we're very close to them. And I think we're only two points behind them and we could have got, obviously gone above them. And it showed today there's not much between the, the two teams today. So um, we know uh, uh, what Hilly's teams are like. Uh, they're very hard working and they're, and they're based on um, t teamwork and we try to do that ourselves. So, um, um, unfortunately, the, the, the winners today were defenders, goalies, um, and the match winners. Um, uh, in terms of you know your, your forward-thinking players, you know, were it wasn't their day today. You know, a good striker when you see one. What did you make of Luke James today on his first Rovers start? Luke was great. You know, he, he, I know what Luke's done. He's, he's he's been here now for since the start of this season. So, he's got bags of potential. Uh, he's still only 22 played a number of games. The reason he's not played games is because obviously Matty, Matty was here and he was playing. So um, he would now get his chance, I assume, you know. So off the, off the back of today's performance, I thought he battled really well. He's brave. He's got all the attributes to be um, a real good striker. Um, he's quick. Um, I think with age and experience, he will, he will learn um, um, how to become a goal threat. So... Um, but today it wasn't, you, you couldn't say it wasn't his day in front of goal today because it was no one's for both teams. So um, what he had to do today, um, what we asked him to do was spot on um, and he listens to instructions very well. So um, he's got a chance. And getting his chance in the team, how important will a goal be for him? It isn't. Goals, goals for strikers are great, but um, you know, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you know Luke like I know him and, and the lads know him, the manager knows him, he's a team player and goals won't frustrate him. It might frustrate other people, but as long as we're getting results, it doesn't really matter where the goals come from. Um, if you can get, if you can get goals for us in time, um, great. If not, we keep getting results. It's not a problem. And a word for those travelling Bristol Rovers fans today. Um, it's been a strange week for them in many ways. I suppose they've been in the national spotlight, let alone the local one. Um, what, what do you make of them today? They're great. You know, the, the following is normal. Um, are, 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 are very, very noisy. Um, there's loads of them, you know, you, they, they make themselves heard and to come this far up to Rochdale uh, on a cold day off, off, off the back of quite a tough week for them. So um, it's great to have them here. It's great for them to, to be as noisy um, and sometimes noisier than the home crowds. And is it, is it felt like a strange week within the club this week? Um, for about a day, but, you know, footballers and, and coaching staff and managers and um, staff amongst the club are you know, over the years are hardened to disappointments and, and that's the way it is and you get over it and you get on with it and um, one, door shut, uh, one door shuts, another one opens for someone else and that's football and it's a conveyor belt of football, unfortunately, and that's the way the game is. Good point, well done today. Thank you, thank you.